So as you've noticed, we've taken the Hustle Never Sleeps outside the studio and brought you to places all around Cape Town. We were at cafes, we were at a little lounge section as well. And today we're standing, well not standing, but we're sitting in Greenpoint Park with Stan Mars, of course. Stan, I'd love, love, love to hear your radio journey. Simply because, to me, you're one of the legends. Besides Nigel Pierce, you're right up there with him. You've been in this game for so long. I mean, me as a newbie has so much to learn from it. So tell me where your, your journey began. Uh, Carissa, thanks firstly for having me. Uh, it's been quite a journey. I, I told the story on air a couple of years ago. Not a couple of years ago, I, I had the school story last year in 94. I, uh, I pretended to be the principal of my ex-high school. I phoned the SABC and uh, I told them that we have this youngster who really wants to aspire to to do broadcasting. Yeah. Anyway, they 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 said yes, I could come through. I went through to Good FM at the time, and um, that's where I met Nigel Pierce. Oh, so he was there before you? Way, way <laughs> before me. I was at school. I mean, I was listening to him. And uh, when, when, uh, when I told the story, and I mean, Nigel had so many listeners because everybody wanted to know, how old is Nigel? Yes. I'm 37. I mean, you can do the math on, on Nigel. <laughs> but um, I've been doing John it for approximately right <laughs> 17 years. Yeah, uh, 17 to 18 years. Um, I've worked at nine community stations. I worked at nine communities. I've done anything from Radio Tigerberg to Radio Halderberg to CCFM to Bush. Um, the first community radio station I worked at was C-flat. I worked with the likes of Tyrone Paulson. Bradley Knight was there. We all worked together. Beta Adams was the PM at the moment at uh, Algoa FM. Um, there were so many of us. Gershon could see at ETV. So that, that was our training ground. That is where it started. But um, just to take you back to, to, to humble beginnings for me, I... Um, I, I come from an era where, where when you were at school, people wanted to be doctors, lawyers, uh, cops, firemen. Teachers. I want, teachers. Yeah. I wanted to be a radio DJ. That's it. I wanted to do nothing else. That was the passion. That was the dream. Um, so that was my vibe. I wanted to do nothing else. I didn't want to be the president. I wanted to be on radio. I was inspired by the likes but of... But where did this come from? Uh, sitting up at night listening to the radio. I mean, yeah. back in the day, uh, the likes of Graham White, the Vanilla Thriller. Uh, he had a program called The Jet Set Flashback. I was a lighty. <laughs> it was intense. Then, of course, inspired by the likes of, of Clarence Ford, Dimitri Jagels, and, of course, uh, J. Mark Gilman, mm. who just degraded to the next level. But that is where the journey started for me. And then I heard a voice on a national radio station, the biggest, best voice I'd ever heard. And, and I wondered about this voice. Yes. I would listen to this man religiously every day. We would bunk school, we would bunk university to listen to him. His name is Kenny Maestri. Yeah. Uh, Kikas Kenny used to do Mafuda Jams at uh, 12 to 3 lunch on, on Metro back in the day. Kenny's still around today, still does uh, broadcasting and that was it for me. That was the focus, that was the plan, that is what I wanted to do. But how was I going to do it? Mm -hmm. I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> no guidance. No clue, no clue. No help. I knew two things because I come from humble beginnings. Mm. Uh, my dad's a janitor, my mom's a tea lady. Mm. Um, that is how I grew up. So I didn't grow up with money, but I yeah. grew up with love. Mm. But they always told me my dad was the motivation. He pushed me, said to me, this is something you can do. Sure. I didn't know how I was going to do it at mm. some point. Um, I, I think probably early 2000s, I gave up. And he said to me, this is something you're going to do. And from there, I worked for many years, mm. not getting paid. UCT radio, sure. I was at MFM. That's the uh, alumni. <laughs> I've been at, you, you name it, I've been there. So that is why people ask me, how can I get into radio? It's like, brother or sister, mm. there's a journey. Yeah. My journey has taken me uh, to nine community radio stations and three commercial stations. Um, so I've been there. It wasn't just a walk, in the, uh, walk into the door and yeah. there you go, a job. You got a job. No, it doesn't work like that. Not where I came from. I'm old school. I have a lot of experience with a lot mm. of things. I can adapt to almost any situation, to any station, mm. any format, any mm. time slot. Because I've worked most of it. And it took you 17 years overall, the whole span. <laughs> yeah, the journey's been 17 years. Yeah. But let me tell you That's also about... a teenager, Sam. Yeah, no, I was a kid. I was a kid. I was a kid. <laughs> I was a kid, I was learning, I was hungry. Mm. And uh, that was it. And also with me, th there were no shortcuts. Yeah. There were no, I worked two to six in the morning for two years. So let me so tell I've you. So I've got a year and a half ahead yeah, of me, you're telling me. <laughs> two years, two to six, two years. Um, you become abnormal. When yeah. people go to work, mm. you try to sleep. Yeah. But good luck trying to sleep in summer. You don't sleep, so your patterns are out, you are out, even on the weekends when you're not working, mm. you are out, it, yeah. that, nothing makes sense to you. But two years later, then I worked 10 till 2 at a station called P4, mm. 
mm. uh, for four years. Sure. So I was out of the six o'clock, but I was still in the two o'clock. Still vampiring your way through. Yeah, listen here. There's, <laughs> there were no shortcuts. And yeah. after that, I mean, it's, it's pretty much been, been prime time um, radio for the last, I don't know how many years. But um, yeah, even my journey with Gurib FM and the next few years, I'd love and I would love to go national. I'd love to go to Metro. I've got my eye on 2000 as well because uh, the SABC stations are just so strong at the moment. Mm. It's, it's where we want to be. Well, what's stopping you, Stan? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work, of but the course, hard work doesn't yeah. stop. But it's also hunger. Mm. You need to be hungry for it. Yeah. I worked for eight years and you don't get paid. Sure. Yeah. That's crazy. So you need to have so something on the side. Yeah. That sounds really tough to me. So besides the challenges way back then, to this day, it's almost as if you've made it. I know you want to go national, but you're somewhere good. You're doing lunchtime on Good Up FM. So what are some of the challenges that you face today? Well, obviously, uh, within the ACBC, our music policy has changed a bit, so it's, it's bringing along a, a few challenges, mm. but nothing we can't overcome. We, we've got a really dynamic team, a strong team mm. that, can, that can assist us. Mm. Uh, but apart from that, it's, it's easy peasy. I, I, I work uh, music format stations okay. where the music does the talking. You must yeah, always remember that when you work music radio, and um, I often flip stations, and what's interesting is for me is that people love their own voices. Mm. When you work music radio, let the music do the talking. Surround yourself with a strong team, mm. and there you go. That's it. They say I'm the laziest guy that's done the, <laughs> got the most success at the station, <laughs> but that's easy. I don't work hard, you work smart. You work smart. Yeah. That's the advice I'll take from you. And the highlights of your career so far, it's been a long time. Well, highlights of my career is probably yeah. some of the, the, the names that I've interviewed over the years mm. from Stevie Wonder. What? Who, yeah, we, 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 the man comes into your studio, the man has got a presence about him. I can imagine. Um, I, I can't explain it to you from, from the crooners and, and to Dion Warwick uh, walking into studio as well. Mm. It is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, people call it perks of the job. And the one thing you realize that when you meet these people, yeah. it's people like you and I. Yeah. It's people like you and I. I interviewed Peter Schmeichel, Manchester United superstar extraordinaire. Mm. And he said to me, I wanted to know about preparation. Yeah. What do you do before a game? And he asked me, what do you do before you do a show? Like you and I. It's a job these people do. They excel at it. They've sure. got good voices. It's Listen here. <laughs> it's when you meet them and you take the hand. And I've got this thing about looking at people's hands. Yeah. And it's a human being. It's an actual flesh yeah. and blood human being. And it takes you a while to come to terms with it. Mm. Um, and Mariah was in, was in town as well. Um, I was a couple of meters away from her. And when you look at her, yeah. it's a normal person. It's a normal person. Standing there with sunglasses on. But come on, it's body Mariah goes, though. It's Listen Mariah. Here, I feel you and I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Um, the same with Bieber. When you see them, mm. it's people like you and I. Mm. But there's a dream there. Yeah. I'm living mine. Oh, I love that so much. And words to just kind of motivate people who are at the beginning of their 17-year journey like you, what would you say? Don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop. The doors are going to shut. The doors are going to close. Mm. Don't. Th that's normal. It's part of the journey. The doors will close. Uh, there'll be a lot of criticisms. There'll be a lot of haters, yeah. for lack of a better word. But you follow your journey. You do what you do. You do you and you'll be fine. Oh. You don't stop. You don't quit. Take it from me. Normal guy. I'm the boy next door. <laughs> Loving it. Yeah, thank you, Stan. The big Stan Mars. Thank you so much. Thank I you so much. Thanks it. for having me. Of course. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Ciao. <laughs> this is Good Hope FM, connecting Cape Town for five decades and beyond.